Good morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this terrific Tuesday. Well, it's actually Monday for me. I'm pre-recording these because of the short week this week. So uh, just hang in there. We'll be back live next week. But I'm so thankful today because today is the birthday of my oldest child, Jennifer Carr. We're so thankful for her as God has blessed us in so many ways. And so if you get a chance, wish her a happy birthday, especially here on Facebook, if you would. We're going to see her tonight. We're going to have dinner with them. And we're excited about that too. But right now, if you have your Bibles, continue with me in 2 Timothy chapter 2 as we pick up at the end of where we left off yesterday. I didn't feel like I was uh, completely fair with the last part of this passage. So we're in chapter 2, and uh, we're, I'm going to read the whole thing starting in verse 11. But he says, Paul says, this is a faithful saying. You can believe this, he says. For if we died with him, we shall also live with him. If we die to the old way of life, we are raised to walk in that newness of life in Christ Jesus our Lord. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. True believers will endure. That's the promise. If you trusted in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you will endure to the very end. You will persevere because God is holding you in his hands and nothing can take you out of that. Paul says those that leave the faith were never part of the faith. All right. If we deny him, he also will deny us. That's the truth of God's word. Uh, that proves that we were never his children. And he will say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. But listen to this. He says, if we are faithless, he remains faithful. What a powerful promise that is. Because we are not perfect. We're human beings and we still stumble. And there are times when we don't have the faith that we need to, to do the right things, to say the right things. But he's always faithful. He's holding on to us and he will never let us go. That's the promise of God's word. That's reason to celebrate. That's reason to be thankful because even in those moments when we might turn our back on him, not, not renounce our faith in Jesus, but not stand up for the faith, not do the things that maybe we know we're supposed to do. Uh, there are times when we should witness when we don't. I had one of those occasions uh, not too long ago as I was sitting in a waiting room and I felt the Holy Spirit urge me to say something to this young man, and I hesitated. And so before I could say anything, the, the nurse called him back to the back, and, and I still remember his name. I'm not going to mention it here, but I still remember his name. And um, I, I've, I hate that, but we all do that at times. And because of that, we can trust in the, because of this promise, we can trust even in those times we mess up, God is still holding firm to us. And this is the reason he cannot deny himself. Now, what does he mean by that? That means because he's made a promise that he's promised us that when we are, when we make that commitment to him, when we surrender our lives to him, when we make Jesus Lord and Savior of our lives by coming to that relationship, he will never break his promise. He's a promise keeper. He cannot deny himself. His word is his bond. And when he, if, if he were to go back on his word, he would no longer be God. And that's impossible because he is God. He's creator. He's sovereign. He is sustainer. He is redeemer. Every word that you can think of in scripture that tells you who God is, he will always be that God. And that also means that he's a wrathful God because that's who he is in the Old Testament and the New Testament. He will pour out his wrath on those who reject him. And that is a promise. But for those who are his sons and his daughters, he will always remain faithful. He will always hold us in the palm of his hands. Now, think about that this week. As you find yourselves in situations that, uh, with family, with friends, uh, celebrating Thanksgiving, being thankful for the things that he's given us. Remember, all of those times when you maybe failed him, when you maybe stumbled into sin, when maybe you uh, didn't do what he'd called you to do, he still loves you, and you're still his, his, his child, and he's still your father. And you can rejoice in that truth. That's the amazing promise of God's word. No matter what happens, he is always with us. Think about that today. And be blessed because that is reason to celebrate.